Hello, my name is Mark, and this is my video lecture about converting radicals to expressions with rational exponents. Okay, so to convert a radical to an expression with rational exponents, what you got to do is just remember that whatever the index of the radical is, that's these numbers in here, whatever your index is becomes your denominator, okay, and then whatever the power on the number in the radicand is, that just stays as the numerator, okay. So like on number one, you see that it is 11, okay, and it doesn't really have a numerator, excuse me, it doesn't really have an exponent already being raised to it, so it's an understood one. Anytime you have a number, it's understood to be raised to just the one power if there is no exponent. So I'm going to write 11 to the first power. And what is the denominator of this rational exponent? Well, it's a 2 because the index on the square root, if there's nothing there, it's understood to be a 2. Okay, so it's 11 to the 1 half power. Let's look at the next one c to the twelfth, the cube root of c to the twelfth, okay, so I take out c to the twelfth, and the denominator of this exponent is the index of our radical, which is a three, so that's twelve over three. All that reduces to twelve divided by three, that's four, so it's c to the fourth. Let's look at the next one. B to the 12th. The index is 6, so 6 is the denominator. 12 divided by 6 is 2. Let's look at the next one. X squared plus Y squared. Okay, I need to put that in parentheses, so I'm going to write X squared plus Y squared parentheses. There really is no exponent, so I'm going to put a 1 in the exponent. And the denominator will be a half, okay, because when there's nothing in the index, it's understood to be a 2. Okay, let's look at the next one. We have x plus y quantity squared. Well, that has an exponent because it's quantity squared. and the index is understood to be a 2. 2 over 2 is 1, so it's really just x plus y. The next one, a to the 20th. The denominator will be 5 because the index is 5. And 20 divided by 5 is 4, so that's a to the 4th. Let's look at the next one. 4 squared. Okay. Uh, well, what is 4 squared? Well, that's really just 16. You could have wrote 16 if you want to, but I'm going to write squared. Okay, and what's the index? Well, the index, that's a 3. Just in case you can't see it, that's a 3. So I'm going to write uh, the denominator as a 3. So that's 4 to the 2 thirds power. Okay, and there you have it. So let's see here. 4 squared is 16. If I get the cube root, is there any number that I can multiply by 3 times to get 16? I would say no. Okay, so this is my video lecture about converting radical expressions to rational exponents. Thank you for listening.